So it is now 8.09 on March 23rd. And um, I want to, uh, before I get into my dreams, I just want to um, note that uh, yesterday on the 22nd, right in the morning, I got an image of the missing micro SD card on a shelf or the back of a coffee table just lying there, like kind of dust and, dust and stuff around it. I felt that when I had this image that the missing micro SD card would probably be returned to me. So like I said uh, in an earlier video, it went missing out of the back of my phone. A couple other things happened actually after this. Um, one is that I went to the bathroom and found a bottle of glue on the kitchen sink, which Chris said he didn't put there. And there were, there was other evidence of, oh, excuse me, I'm having a feeling of pain. Other evidence of people having been in the apartment that night. So, I mean, the night of, um, between March 21st and March 22nd, um, and then the missing SD card, I think, went missing the night of the 20th to the 21st. So it seems like people might be coming into this um, apartment almost every night, or at least, if not almost every night, just like on a regular basis. And we almost never leave it empty. Um, now, I still don't like leaving it empty because I feel that the people who come in at night obviously aren't um, able to knock us out and monitor our physiological responses. You know, that this seems to be really down to a science, entering people's um, bedrooms at night. Seems to be very easy for the intelligence agencies to do by now. Um, because if you're implanted, they've got all your vital signs, like they can record them constantly. They can record your brain. Uh, they can record your heart, your breathing, all that stuff. They can control it, and they can actually record what's going on with it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm moving around a lot because I'm I'm de still dealing with back pain. Um, so, anyways, somebody had been in the in the apartment, so I thought, well, maybe I'll find this SD card somewhere. And um, well, what ended up happening was. So the evening of the 22nd, so the same day, I decided to do some laundry before bed. And when I um, went to the dryer, like the second time I'd gone to the dryer to check the clothes and see if they were dry, I maybe pulled out a couple items that I thought were already dry. And as I pulled them out, guess what flies out of the dryer? The micro SD card. The missing 32 gigabyte micro. And it's the only one I have that's 32 gigabytes. So that's weird. Was it in the laundry the whole time? Probably not. I'm guessing that maybe someone actually threw it into the dryer. Uh, I think that my clothes that were bleached, you know, all of a sudden my clothes turned up with bleach stains on it. I think that probably was done in the laundry room as well, that maybe while my clothes were in the dryer, someone brushed some bleach on it and stuff. And there's other stuff that's happened to me or my clothes in the laundry room. I know that there's cameras in the laundry room down there just based on the stuff that's happened to me, the many different things that have happened to me down there. Um, so the missing SD card shows up in my laundry while my laundry is in the dryer, almost dry. So I pulled it out, and it looked to me like all this stuff was still on it, although I couldn't tell for sure. There were these weird ghost-looking files on there, too. I wish that I had screenshotted them. I don't think I did. Um, it is possible that some stuff was pulled off, uh, but I had so much stuff on there that I don't remember, but nothing that I noticed was missing. So the SD was missing, the micro SD card was missing for a couple days and then showed back up in the dryer in my clothes. And I know that I didn't lose it in the laundry. My phone wasn't in the laundry basket. Um, and the SD card was on my phone, so that's not what happened. Uh, somebody put it in there. I don't understand the point between all of this, behind all of this. Like, were, were they trying to slow me down? Were they just trying to gaslight me? Um, 
But anyway, I've got it again, which is good because there was some interesting video on there, which I'm in the process of uploading to YouTube. 